Hey, this is Carlos at Trent Cadillac. Just want to do a quick overview on the control center of the Q system. Some customers have been having issues with um, the how responsive it is. I'm just going to show you a way to reduce those with a little minimal issues. Starting over here with the power button, what that is going to do is if you tap it, it's going to mute your radio. So if you're listening to music, it's going to mute it if you tap it. To turn off the screen, you hold on to the button, then it will turn off the screen. One of the main issues that people have been having also is with the, um, the responsiveness of this part of the system. Now with this system, all the silver bars right here along that you see along the way, those are just guides for your fingers. So if you're operating the system at nighttime or anything like that, it just gives you a guide for your fingers. You always want to touch the actual picture of any part of this um, system that you're using. So for, for instance, for the volume, you would slide it right across. You could turn your volume up or down. For the home button, it would always bring you back to the screen. You actually want to touch the picture. Same thing with any of your temperature gauges on either side. You touch the actual picture and you see that your responsiveness is a whole lot better than when you try to touch this part. It does not respond as much. Same thing along here for all your heated seat controls and then your cool seat controls. The only silver part of this piece that um, actually does something is the silver bar at the very bottom. When you do that, I call it the James Bond feature. It kind of just opens up a little hidden storage back there with a USB port. Um, if it's a Escalade, it won't have a charge pad in there, but for such vehicles as the CTS and the ATS, inside here will also be a charge pad as well as the USB port. 